What's up friends? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be sharing my May TBR. May is Asian Pacific Islander month and it is also my birthday month. I'm a Taurus so shout out to my Taurus and Geminis. I love May for multiple reasons. There are so many good things going on. It's Mental Health Awareness Month and it is also Jewish American Heritage Month. There is a lot of important things going on right now pertaining to India so I'm going to link resources down below for you to donate to them. They are in a COVID crisis. There is a lot of horrible things happening there and so if you can spare money or at least just share about it that will bring awareness to this situation that is occurring. So please check my description before you leave this video and let's get into my TBR. For Asian Readathon there are five prompts and the objective is to read a book for each prompt with an author from a different ethnicity so you're really diversifying your reading. Cindy's video will be linked down below so you can get more information. There are so many things that you can do to participate and find resources. The first prompt is to read a book by an Asian author and I have chosen Rent a Boyfriend by Gloria Chow who is a Taiwanese author. This has fake dating and it is about a girl who rents a boyfriend. This was recommended to me in a Patreon video where I read books from my TBR Co. The first part of that video is up on my Patreon and this month I'll be reading more of the recommendations that I received. So if you would like to see videos like that, you can go over to my Patreon and pledge $1 to become a paperback pal. I love the fake dating trope and I'm very excited to read this. I've heard that Gloria Chow is a very good contemporary author. Next is to read a book with an Asian protagonist and I've chosen for my secret TBR this month, Written in the Stars by Aisha Saeed. I read her collaboration, Yes, No, Maybe So with Becky Abertali in January and I loved it so much and I can't wait to read some of her solo work. This follows a Pakistani American protagonist who is sent off to Pakistan when her parents find her with a boy instead of obeying their rules to arrange a marriage for her. I'm going to be reading this for my secret TBR this month so hit subscribe and turn on my post notifications so that you don't miss that video. Next is to read a book written by an Asian author in your favorite genre. I am choosing Lupe Wong Won't Dance. I have heard so many good things about this. This is about a Chinese Mexican girl named Lupe who plays baseball and I love a good sports book and a good contemporary middle grade so I'm very excited to read this. Next is to read a nonfiction written by an Asian author and this is another book for my secret TBR this month. I'm spoiling you in this video and I have chosen Speak a Kenwa by Elizabeth Miki Brina. This is a memoir by a Japanese American author and it is about her culture and her growing up in Akinwa. I can't say too much about this because I am reading it for my video but I'm excited to read it. I love nonfiction. I also have another book for this prompt that I would like to get around to which is Ace by Angela Chen. This is very short. It's under 200 pages and it's just a nonfiction about asexuality. I have seen this on Bookstagram a lot and got it from my library. I didn't get around to it last month so I am just transferring it to my TBR for this month. And the last prompt is to read a book by an Asian author who is not US centric. I've chosen the subtweet by Vivek Shreya. She's an Indian Canadian trans woman and and I am so excited for this book. This is about two musicians who have an internet feud online and become the center of an internet firestorm. The blurb calls it a no holds barred examination of the music industry and making art in the modern era, shining a light on the promise and peril of being seen. This sounds so good. I love books about music and internet culture and I'm especially excited that this is written by a trans woman of color. Those are all the prompts for Asian Readathon. I also have a couple graphic novels I would like to get to including Displacement by Kiku Hughes which I have on hold on Overdrive. I also just requested a physical copy from my library of The Magic Fish by Trung Lee Nguyen. I have heard really good things about both of these graphic novels. Last month I meant to get to my arc of May the Best Man Win by Z.R. Elliot but I had a family matter to attend to which is why there was no April TBR. So I'm hoping to get around to it before the release date which is May 18th the day before my birthday. It's a contemporary written by a trans author about a trans boy who enters a throwdown battle for the title of homecoming king with the boy he dumped last summer. You all know how much I love trans sports stories and I am so excited to read this. It has own voices representation for autism. The love interest is autistic and I just can't wait to read this. So follow me on the story graph if you haven't for some updates. I know I haven't really talked about 
about it in a video. I just haven't made time to talk about it, but I am on the story graph. It is linked down below if you would like to follow me and see what I am reading. I'm also hoping to do a mini vlog video like my Sims video. That might have to happen in June, but if you haven't seen where I had my Sim control what I read for 48 hours, that video will be linked up above. I also want to read either Let Me Hear a Rhyme by Tiffany D. Jackson or The Black Kids by Christina Hammond, which I have on Hoopla and Overdrive. That's it for me today. If you missed my Reader Rama announcement video, you can go and watch that. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't, like for engagement, and comment down below what you would like to see me talk about in my quarterly wrap-up video this month. I would love to hear your thoughts. I'm trying to figure out what style I would like to do. And if you don't have the time, comment down below a flower emoji for spring. I consider May spring just because it feels more like spring in May. Thank you all for watching. I will see you next time. Goodbye.